I really need to scratch it. Are you sure it's the perfume? Oh, yeah, it has to be. It itches everywhere I spray it. My neck, my wrist, the back of my knees. Wait, you spray perfume on the back of your knees? Oh, yeah. I read it in a magazine. No, please don't laugh at me. I'm in agony. Sorry. And even if it goes, I've got a date tonight. That's tonight? Yeah, and all the concealer in the world's not going to cover this, is it? Well, look, maybe it'll fade a bit by then. Or maybe it's going to look like a blotchy mess. Right. OK, you need to go to the doctor's and maybe he'll give you some cream for it or something, yeah? Yeah, I might. I'll wait a bit and see if it calms down. <sighs> yeah. OK, thanks. Sorry, Dr Kavanagh's been called out on an emergency, but I've managed to get you an appointment with Dr Bailey, if that's OK. Actually, it, it's fine. Jenny? Yeah? Have I got any personal calls this afternoon? Mm, not while I've been here. OK, no problem. Um, if my wife calls while I'm with a patient, do you mind keeping online, please? Yeah, sure. So, what did the doctor say? Uh, nothing much, just that it'll go down and they gave me some cream for it. Oh, good. Yeah, it still looks pretty painful. Well, it's getting better. Good. Yeah, it's still very red though, isn't it? It's fine. Actually, no, it's not fine, but you know what doesn't help an itch? Talking about it. Right, sorry. But you are still going to go on this date though, right? I hope you're joking. Well, you can't let something like that ruin this your This isn't just about the rash, but thank you again for bringing it up. I just feel a bit embarrassed, that's all. Oh, hey, look, don't be. Listen, I didn't say anything earlier, but um, a similar thing happened to me when I was younger. Although with me, I tried to impress my then boyfriend by cooking him a meal with chilies. And halfway through chopping them up, I went to the loo. Oh. No, to change my contacts. Oh, ouch. Ah, never wore them again. So if you ask me, you have got off lightly. Right, you're not going to really let this thing that won't be named stop you from going on this date, will you? I don't know. Right, one word for you, roll neck. Actually, that might be two words. <laughs> Rishi let me go early because we got the order out. Oh, and because he loves me and we're having a torrid affair, obviously. Well, I were being stupid. Kerry should never have said. Lamy soda, please. He's getting his own. I'll get that for you. Too right you will. I'm going to be sitting over there. Honeymoon's over then. Well, yeah, obviously. Your entire relationship's based on lies and cheating. You're not going to really let this ruin your evening. <sighs> Maybe I should just go for it. Have it out with him. Why is that? What are they calling it these days? <laughs> Hiya. So, you've been waiting long? It's fine. You sure? I went into the surgery today to see Dr Kavanagh. And I saw you too talking to the receptionist about your wife. So when were you going to tell me? Tonight, or were you going to wait until we'd slept together? Tonight. Yeah, of course you were. I've not told you this, but my mum and dad have recently split up. Dad was having an affair. So what, this is what all men do? That They get married, then they lose interest, move on to someone else? I don't know. For what it's worth, me and Angela were having some problems, but you made me laugh again. For the first time in ages. How often do you use these lines? Usually work, do they? Well... Stay away from me. 